everyone, Meg from Artfish42. We are starting a new series with our artists during this uh, COVID-19 quarantine stay at home. So I th we thought this is a great time for you to meet our artists, get to know who they are, and see what they're working on during this time. So when we can all be set back together face to face, you know what you're coming in to see. So today we have with us um, our wonderful, from Tingio Natural, um, Terry Tassan. I always say, I, you know, I, for as long as I've known Terry, I never say her last name right, because I always want to be like, Tassan, because I just think it's so like, oh. I don't know why, because she's from Canada, so I keep thinking like some French, even though she's from the other side. So Terry Tassan, here is um here she is how are you today during this i'm doing well i'm kind of missing my art fish fix though right Going withdrawal here i know we always work together on mondays and thursdays that's when yes. we do of our brainstorming we like we'll we'll take a look and just start changing the whole shop around so before we come back you know we're gonna have to change the shop around absolutely we're gonna have to do something fun. So Terry is um, the CEO of Tingio Naturals. Um, so why don't you tell me a little bit and tell everyone a little bit of what that is, which is right behind me. Yes, that's my new brand. Uh, Tingio Naturals was brought on. We have Tingio Studios as well, but we'll talk about that later. Uh -huh. But I saw a need with my own family actually, I guess. Um, my dogs were scratching, my husband's head was itching. <laughs> so because of Meg, I uh, decided to try something new. Um, I love to cook and it was just an uh, automatic transition that was, was simple. It's like cooking is making soap. I make cold processed, mm -hmm. um, all organic, all vegan. Why don't you tell them a little bit what cold process is? As, a, as opposed to like hot process or anything like that? Uh, well, cold, cold process is exactly that. It's not cooked. Um, I go out to my shop. I have my cold oils. I melt my butters. I add in my lye. Um, and then it's poured into the mold. Whereas the, the hot process, of course, is, is, is cooked in a, a, a crock pot or something. Um, yeah. I chose to do the cold processing. I didn't feel like cooking. So you use um, only natural, organic, and vegan Correct. Uh, product. Yes. So you also do not use palm oil, and that is very important to you. That is. Um, there are some, and they say, and, and it's everybody's choice. This is just my decision, uh, mm -hmm. my research. They say you can get uh, sustainability palm oil. I don't feel comfortable with that. Um, it's the same with carnauba wax. I don't use carnauba wax because that comes from the palm. So okay. I use um, candelilla wax instead. Okay. So you'll never find any of those. You won't find canola. You won't find, you know, any of those oils that um, are GMO. And no fragrance um, oil. There will never be a fragrance oil in it all uh, steam distilled essential oils. So they're very pure. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just gonna reach back and get one of these. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> Aren't they, they are, they really are. I hope everyone can see these. So one of the things that's very interesting is this is, you know, Terry is also a photographer and this is her new, these are her new labels. And this is um, uh, a digital from one of her, one of her um, photos, right? And why don't you tell us a little bit about this? Because I just think this is so interesting. Okay, well, that started out as chocolate syrup on a white plate. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. And uh, I took it into, I, I photographed it, took it into my different editing pro, uh, programs. Um, what it represents to me is the family. And in the center of there, you will see a yin and yang. Yep, yeah, right on there. And on, right. on my business card, you'll see it here. I don't think you can see it very well. Yeah. Um, but in, in the yin and yang is, is red, and that's the, the heart of the family. So that's 
how that came about and that's what it represents is the fact. Right. And in, so in this one, it's yellow. Correct. So, so with it being yellow, because they each have a different color now for what they do, the yellow uh -huh. is everyday soaps. Okay. You can just use them every day. It's, it's all fine. So this is the tea tree coconut oil. Yummy. Um, so when you come in there, I don't, know, whoop, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a little, um, a little guide as to what the color is and what it's for. So on this one, it's yellow. So you always look in the little heart. Oops, and I, Meg needs a manicure. Um, so if you look in the heart, that's yellow. So that's for every day. Um, your blue is for doggies. The and blue is for doggies. Doggy be good. <laughs> I, I also tell have them. this one now, Meg. I finally yeah. got it made. It's the nose and toes protector. It's uh -huh. like, um, I'll show you. Oh, it's nice. Um, it's like a, a lip balm for, for our, our pups, uh, dry noses and their paws, um, mm -hmm. especially going through winter when there's all that salt and stuff on the roads. You yeah. Winter yeah. dog's paws and you just wipe this on. Um, it, it's like a, a lip balm. So it, it melts on contact uh -huh. and softens up their paws. Helps with the cracking. And on the nose, so, and it's fine for dogs in case they fine like. Fine for dogs. It's all been re researched, only the uh, essential oils that are safe for dogs, not Excellent. cats. Nor cats, good. Yeah, we no, no, not for cats. No, not for cats. No, right. no cats, just dogs. Dogs. No, your macro and Bentley you're, are like your two little lovies. They're, these two are like two little puppies. I know, Bentley, come here, come And she originally made Doggy Be Good because they were getting, they were doing a lot of itching and stuff like that. All right. right. So use the doggy be good because it has neem oil in it yes. uh, and so the two of yours that I especially this time of year that I always use are the doggy be good or the here comes winter because my shins in the winter is so dry and I like scratch them and it's amazing it like it really hydrates your skin well also with the the cold processing method um unlike commercial manufacturing all the glycerin what happens when the soap goes through saponification it is left with the lye the oil the waters uh break down change its molecular structure and becomes glycerin now glycerin mm -hmm. of course is that coveted uh ingredient that manufacturers extract and they uh -huh. put it in their expensive makeups and why did ah all my soaps maintain all the glycerin so that's why it's so hydrating. Right. Gotcha. Interesting. Okay. So before we go on to the other one, there's another product that I have got to show you. Because <laughs> it is amazing. And it is called Tattoo You. All right. So this is one of our most coveted. You can't keep this in. No, I can't. I don't even have any here at home. <laughs> I have here. <laughs> Um, so guess because you just did a big a big drop off before we closed. I did. So the tattoo you you we we really do we have a hard time keeping it in. It, it and oh by the way, it is she's you did make it originally for tattoos, correct? Correct. I was getting my my tattoo here on my arm. Uh huh. I made a small batch for myself and my girlfriend down in Florida. Uh huh. Um, in making it, it, it has to have a slip across the skin because anyone that's had a tattoo knows how bad it hurts. It's like a sunburn on steroids. <laughs> so it, it can't, there can't be any friction. It has to slide. So that's why the cleanser is made and it just um, slips off as well, rinses well. It has uh, tea tree oil in. Um, so it, it heals. Yep. And that's what brought me to the moisturizer because you have to keep that thing moisturized. You clean it. My, my cleanser doesn't really dry out my, my tattoos. Yeah. But it does have so, a lot of slip. Pardon me? It does have a, like a lot of slip to it. It's very, it's it does. Nice. It, it's not greasy or anything. No. So, which is really interesting. I, I, I take a, a lot of time to research what's going to work for me. 
Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of picky, so I yeah. think it's a good place to start. But the moisturizer, um, it's, it's for healing. What we found out, obviously, while I was away in Florida is that you were selling it as a healing bomb. It ends up being a healing bomb. Yeah. Because who do we have? So now we have pastry chefs who are using it for, and they've gotten it for their crew because every time, you know, when they take out their um, product, you know, they're getting burnt or they're, they're burning their hands. So we have a couple now who have come in who get it for, for them. Um, we had the landscaper who is going in bushes and their, their forearms are getting like eaten up, you know, all scratched from, from the bushes. They've been using it and they're coming back going, what is this stuff? <laughs> remember, when, remember when I cut my hand, we had a piece of glass here. I cut my yes. finger and I was like, oh, this is not going to be good if I let go. And you said, clean it out, put some tattoo you on it. I did. I covered it. The next day, I'm like, where is that cut? And then I played with it and reopened it <laughs> because that's me. And then I put more on it and covered it. Yeah. And not only did it heal so fast, but it, it didn't leave a scar or anything. Like, well, of course, it's on my finger, but I was just like, holy Toledo. And what she's not telling you is when she went and got this last tattoo, um, they had forgotten to put the little it was a Celtic tattoo. So they forgot to put the little accent on it, right? Yes. Yes. So you went back the next day. And obviously I had washed and moisturized my tattoo a few times. Uh-huh. Um, Cause it's brand new at that point. That's a wound. It's an yeah. open wound. Uh, I went back later in the afternoon and he looked at it and he goes, weren't you here yesterday, Terry? I said, yes. He goes, you're already a week into your healing. And uh, that tattoo on my arm took uh, just over a week to go through the different phases of the healing process of a tattoo, which there's, there's several. And how, yeah, I was gonna say, how long does that, is that normally? Uh, well, it can take at least six weeks. Like, you know, I got a new one on my, my back. Right, and it right. was, it's substantial, it's, it's large. Yeah. And I thought, I am gonna be hurting for <laughs> weeks. <laughs> And I got Glenn to do the, the, the cleansing, the, the moisturizing diligently. And I was done in uh, about, about two and a half weeks. And that, that's almost unheard of because it's, when I say you're healing on steroids, it's not uh, actual steroids, but it's, I don't know, it, it's magical. I don't know how really is I came about this. But that really isn't a testament to... I mean, you, you, it's, this isn't like, oh, I'm going to have a little side thing of making soaps and stuff. This is, A, this is your business, but you came at it like a chemist. Like you're the scientist. You, you know, you create everything. And you, as you've said, and as I've heard you say to so many um, customers, if there isn't a reason for it being, to be in there, then it's not. Correct. So, Every single thing that is in your products has a purpose. I saw no reason to do it otherwise. You're not going to see any fancy coloring in my, my soaps, even though they'd be fun to make. Yeah, yeah. And I get tempted. And there's some natural things I can use. Mm -hmm. um, but I am going to just leave it as is. The, you might get some that I make with a matcha powder. Yeah, and it's the same food grade. I can drink, I can use it for, for tea, but I yeah. can also use it in the soaps. Mm -hmm. And although that goes in green, it comes out uh, through oxidation, brown. Yep, yep. But you know, it goes with the cream color that the rest of the soap exactly. is. Exactly, <laughs> it's, it's not a bad brown. <laughs> so, no. All right, so and now, I, because I, I wanna kind of get through this. Oh, and by the way, if you see us drinking coffee, do you have your coffee? Oh yeah. Yay. See, the beach is my happy place. Yay, I didn't bring my, um, this is not sponsored by Starbucks, although I love Starbucks. Um, we, uh, this whole thing is gonna be called Coffee at the Fish. So all of our artists and I are gonna be drinking coffee, <laughs> and giving a chit chat. 
So if you're listening, watching this, why don't you get your coffee too? We're going to be talking about your next thing. And I want to bring this over here because I want people to see this. Look how gorgeous this is. So you have been doing these pyramids. I don't yes. know if this even does it justice over here. I don't know if you can see it. And if you can see on the top, oh, this one is um, hematite, right? Yes. Yeah. So Terry, you, you tell me how you bridge going from the soaps and the healing bombs and all of that into these, these gorgeous pyramids. Uh, again, it's a natural transition for me because I want to uh, look after your mind, body, and spirit. Um, the soaps um, obviously look after our body. The essential oils definitely help with, with moods. And the pyramids are, are made with special crystals in. They'll have amethyst, they'll have kyanite, they'll have bismuth, they'll have hematite, uh, pyrite, citrine. Oh, I can't remember what else I've got. Oh, and you clear use magnets. I use one? magnets. Yeah. Um, different colors, of course. Look at how gorgeous that is. I love that one. <laughs> this is so stunning. It's like it's suspended and it's just like. Well, I've, I've been working on a couple others here. And um, Glenn has some things for his stained glass. Uh huh. So I figure it's fair game. <laughs> but in this one, I don't know if you can see it, but there's these little feet. And these are brass, and brass is, 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 is a natural, it's organic, uh -huh. um, it's mineral, so it can go well in it as well. So I actually looked, uh, did different colorings on this one. This is for the, the higher part of the, the chakras, as you know. Yeah. Um, so I've got the clear, the, the, the violet, kind of a, a, a pinkish color with gold sparkles, yeah. and apparently... You know, it just, it just feels good. I love So that. when I make these, this might sound a little crazy, but you know, that's okay. It, it takes care of us. We're all energy. This is how, this is how I work. Right, right. When, when I pour my, my, um, my pyramids and they're all done and they're going to sit and cure, I play music. <laughs> At a different at, at different levels, different hertz. Mm -hmm. um, so the vibrations are 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 either this smooth, um, almost a line, but small waves for the the lower chakras. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll do like a, a seven hundred or six hundred for that center part for you know the the sacral. But I play them, and that's how they cure they they like a binaural beat type of thing like a yes yes cool. yes um you can hear i mean obviously the music is just beautiful yes but it is. the underlying um tone is is a certain a certain place right and um i charge them under the full moon <laughs> cool. very cool <laughs> so when you come in you see and what remember when when you were first doing them you had them all in your house yes what happened to my husband <laughs> people were doing weird things people were doing very weird good things. things very positive things yes i was like oh i don't want to remove all my pyramids <laughs> out of the house <laughs> and you put them in your plants i've got them in the plants right but There's i do make a certain one though meg and and um you'll see them where, where you see the layers of black and they're usually a heavier pyramid um there's a, a an oxide in there and when you mix that with clear quartz mm -hmm. it actually works um if you can put magnet in there if you can put copper in there it actually cleans the um, the pollution the electromagnetic fields mm -hmm. of your television your phones our homes are so full of this pollution and if you just sit a nice pyramid with with um, the clear quartz and the oxide um it actually changes the cleans up the the pollution absolutely it's getting rid of those negative ions yes it changes it to positive yeah that is phenomenal 
Well, and I think, you know, after coming out of this COVID-19, <laughs> people will be rethinking a bunch of things. And so I can't wait to see the ones you have been creating while, while you know, during this time. And um, just because I, I wanted just to go really quick with some of these. So um, Carrie also has a whipped body butter, which is phenomenal. It smells like chocolate when you put it on, right? <laughs> It kind of dissipates and morphs into this like lavender kind of scent. It's, I don't know, it's just amazing how it just changes into that stunning. Um, so she also has um, a kitchen. She has a kitchen soap uh, called the chef soap that if you, if you cook with a lot of garlic and, and um, herbs. That have yeah. Then Onion. Onions, it kind of t neutralizes it all. It's yep. amazing. Um, she I know some chefs that always buy it. Pardon? I have some chefs that keep it in stock. It, it really is amazing. It's like you smell this like clove, right? Isn't it? The, the, yep, there's it? cinnamon in there. I wow. ground up some of my espresso beans there and there. It's I amazing. I orange peels into the oils. <laughs> it's like, and it's, it's like, it's that's probably the one that you can smell the most out of all your out of all your products. Probably. So it's like, I don't know. I can't even explain it. It's kind of like every holiday wrapped into one. It's like, <laughs> um, she also has an eczema cream, right? Eczema. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> We always laugh at Terry because she is from Canada. So she'll like, go take a boo at something, which is go take a look. Um, so she has eczema cream. Um, oh my God. Are you, are you doing the lupus this year? I'm not, I'm not sure if we're growing. I hope so because they're so interesting to grow. Right? They yeah. grew their own organic lupus <laughs> last year. So, I mean, it's going, again, she is so on point with her brand. Everything is natural. Everything is organic. Everything is vegan. There's a lot of place, um, companies that will say they're organic, but then you look and they have chemical things in there. I don't know. Some of actually, and same with the, the ones that are saying that they're vegan and they actually will have beeswax in it. So, yeah. And that can't be. I know, and I'm like, well, how can you put that? But, you know, if you get them from Terry, anything from Terry, <laughs> you know that it absolutely is organic. It's vegan. It's yeah. cruelty-free. Yes. Um, because Terry loves her animals. <laughs> and God, macro, when I come back, in, in a, if, I, if there's a past life, I want to come back as macro or Bentley. Because <laughs> it's like, it's crazy. Um, so Terry, hopefully at some point we'll be able to see each other face to face. I know. Well, you know, I, I did make some, some pyramids and that kind of thing. Some, yeah. some product, uh, some san uh, sanitizer for some, some neighbors and things. Yeah. You've been um, making sanitizing things for, uh, her husband, Glenn works at Yale and Glenn is our, our, um, stained glass and we'll be doing a, an interview with him as well and you've been really working on getting them some masks some really cool yeah, this is this is the mask that i made and right. uh, the fabric is actually called halyard h600 and it's a medical fabric and they mm -hmm. use it to after they put their instruments through the autoclave mm -hmm. so they're all sterilized it's wrapped in this because the bacteria cannot get through so they, they wear N95s and they're having to reuse them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just wanted to see if I could keep some of the people safe in his department. So yeah. that's what I've been doing. Amazing, amazing. You are, <laughs> you are so wonderful. You really are. We miss you. I miss you. I miss having you here every Monday and, and Thursday. I know, it's crazy. I know, but we'll do it soon. We will. Keep us informed with all the new stuff you're you're doing, and uh, we, I know um, we have some of our artists will be bringing some things in during this time. And if they do, they go just so you know they go in the back room 
until the, and they they're back there for like a week. So if there should be anything on, all of our artists have been have been self um, isolating. So we're pretty good. If it's something that can be Lysol, it will. Um, but it goes in the back room. It stays there for at least a week, and then we can bring it out into the shop area. Um, starting May, we will be going online. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. You know, right? Exciting. Which we were going to have our big, our big launch. And we just could not do that in April when we were planning to because we just, we want everyone to kind of, um, kind of get readjusted, right? And yeah. it's something normal. So this way, this is our, our uh, little, like meet our artists who are so amazing. Um, and we will, please watch us. This is gonna be there. Each one is gonna be released every Monday um, and possibly, Friday, but right now it's every Monday. So um, please watch every Monday on on our Artfish uh, Facebook and Instagram. And Terry, anything? Any last words you want to say? Terry? I can hardly wait to get back there. I just miss everybody. I know. I know. We love our community. So all right, guys. Thank you so much, and we will see you all real soon.